Right, let's start off with the uh, the V1 pug. Uh, frustrating the strength of this breeze. Well, this ain't going to be much fun, is it? Oh, I've just stuck it in speed mode to help it hopefully penetrate this wind. It does, does not want to move forward. <laughs> the wind has just made it go up vertically and even back a bit. Uh, I mean, honestly, the wind has been a real pain lately, making things um, very difficult, especially something little like this. But I decided just to go straight on with my V2 pug. It does handle a bit of a breeze better, but I think this might even be too much. Oh, it's better. <laughs> trying to force it into that wind. Ooh. Right. Just thinking now. <laughs> ah, okay, clumsy hand catch. I decided to put 10 grams of weight just under the uh, the area of the wing spar, just to give it a little bit of extra ballast. Okay, so that's moving forward by itself now. That's it, that's good. So I'm just gonna let it carry on moving forward. Okay.
Right, that's better to fly. <laughs> Well, that was nice. Just for a few moments there, nice gentle breeze. Just shows the strength of wind can just be blowing away any sort of light bubbles of lift there. Well, what I am liking about the Pug V2 at the moment, I suppose the 10 grams of weight helps. So getting some good launch heights. 